So the penultimate race that we'll be previewing on the Tuesday is the Mayor's Hurdle. Um, doesn't feel like the typical Mayor's Hurdles we've had in previous years, but there's always been something pretty short this time of year and something that looks like an absolute stone wall cert in there. Um, I have very little interest in this. This will be the sort of race where I will be waiting until pretty much near the day if I'm going to have a bet in it. So hopefully the boys will have something more exciting. I know that, Jamie, you were really, really eager to talk about the Mayor's Hurdle. So let's start off with you. What a crap race. <laughs> uh, it's terrible. <laughs> it's absolutely terrible. But I have a, I have a theory. Um, look, to be you, if you think the best form of the race is the horse that won that uh, Mr. Carter uh, tipped the last day, Stormy Iron, obviously, has to have a chance, beats the 155 horse and brewing up a storm. Would it have beaten brewing up a storm ahead? Look. Hindsight is a great thing. The favourite by default is tell me something, girl, because the fact of the matter is that you tipped last year, Dave, heaven help us, in a DRF race in the handicap hurdle. And uh, like, uh, heaven help us find a uh, car to come by, what, nine lengths on good ground. Um, after that, Royal Cahana, who won the race the great three last day in episode, was absolutely no chance to give you in. Needs an absolute bog, just, just my opinion. Then you're going down to Galois. I was there, the last, obviously, I'm talking through ownership there, is that I was there with Mrs. Miller won the, this is the mayor's race in Limerick that day. I think she has a chance. Uh, she's, what, 16 to 1 best best price. Uh, won the poor temps last year. If you put nail on the head, to be honest with you, I like burning victory. Obviously, the form of Buzz is gone. Buzz is injured. Burning victory, to me, kept up with classical dream of Florin Porter in the three-mile race. Now, it can jump, obviously. Uh, but I put up a horse that can jump. But obviously, it has to have a chance. Like, do you know what I mean? After that, um, I have a couple of empty posts. Punts on She Wears It Well. I don't like that horse. The fact of the matter is it trips the top bar and then it hit the shadow. The last day, it's not to me. It's not that. It's like Epiton hitting the top bar, getting over it, and that's it. Um, to me, I think she's gone. Um, but if she I was putting up, a, did hmm? she fracture? Her, did she fracture? Her? She fractured her eye socket or her something, her nose or something like that. Yeah. Um, to be honest with you, if I was having a bet, obviously by default, tell me something. The girl has to have a chance. Obviously, one of the mayors that was her last year. Better to ground it. But the only thing is that if heaven help us gets a soft lead in the race, that it could, like, it's the same course consistent as the Carl Cup. If it gets a soft lead on better ground, who will catch her? But the problem is that we're clutching at straws of a, a grade one, that there's no certainty in it. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's 13 to 2 to field. Like, years ago, last 10 years, would you ever see that in the Mayor's Hurdle? No. No. Never. So, if I was having a bit now, I'd be burning victory each way. That's my solution. Nice. She got mentioned by me very early on in the season, literally through the buzz form. And obviously, she's Patrick Mullins put her up, didn't he, as her, his best handicap bet of the weekend. And then she flopped a little bit. So, good just shout with that. One before we move on to Daryl. Obviously, echoes and rain at the start of the season. Do you remember the race, the Charger race, where we, were th we saw the entries and we were thinking, Foie on these terms, well, not necessarily on these terms, but we looked at the race and thought she needs to progress. They talked about her being something special. We thought we'd get a price about her, and she was like 10 to 11. Yeah, can, I, can I let you fit? I let you go on about her. I, uh, can I go in after you? Yeah, that's well, that's exactly, that's exactly what I'm going for now. I want to ask you the question about Crazy Main because Willie talked about as she's learning the game every time the fact that they're like she needs a lead, she's not the easiest ride, and all those sort of things. And it was, she was semi touted at the beginning of the season as a potential champion early horse. Now, the trip thing, I don't, I don't, I don't really know enough about her. I don't really rate her high enough to be seeing anything. But she ain't going to win a champion hurdle, that's a fact. So I'm just thinking maybe they, this would be the race that she's going to come to Cheltenham and get some experience for future reference. This is where. She, <laughs> yeah, maybe an hour. Shut up, Daryl. Because <laughs> you won't get any mares allowance in a handicap, and she'd be rated one fifty by the British handicap. She's, she's, she's rated one three nine or so, can she? One four three, mate. So British handicap will have a mid one forties. What are you thinking, County Hurdle? Yeah, 
Anywho, the question I was going to ask Jamie was, do you like, do you like her in the slides? Do you think she stays? Do you think she might get pitched near or? No chance. No chance. She'll win the county Earl. All right, we'll, we'll leave it as there then. Daryl, what do you think? What do you make of the mayor's hurdle? Because we talked a little bit about this through a horse who I've not mentioned. And I, don't, I might mention, but anything that really catches your eye or is it just as boring a grade one as we've talked about? Oh, this is, this is hard work. I, I went through this. Problem is, you don't know what half I'm going to do. Um, like Echoes and Rain down, more than likely going to go for a handicap, I would have thought, rather than go here. Uh, Willie's got a number of horses that could run in this, um, including Brandy Love. Um, I, do you know what? I, I like Tell Me Something Girl. I thought last year's Mayor's Novice run was just super impressive. Honestly, after that run, I... I, along with you, backed uh, Heaven Help Us for that handicap. And then she caught my eye in that, right? And I was very, very tempted to back, to back her at Cheltenham for, for, for the Mayor's Novice. And um, I didn't, right? And I thought, I was really annoyed at myself afterwards because I thought I'd seen something. And then I sort of changed my mind trying to do the same else. After she had won that race, I, I genuinely, I know this is going to sound ridiculously stupid, but I genuinely thought, my God, it's like the spitting image of Honeysuckle. Mm. You know, and, and I thought, like, you know, everything about her just screamed she's going to be a, a beast. And then I, I, I don't kind of know what's happened. I mean, maybe she needs a good few runs to to get going or whatever. I, you can forgive, obviously, the run at the end of last season over three miles behind Galloping Champs. thought she did rather well there, to be honest, to finish fifth. She beat in 19 Might have needed to run at Punchdown again behind Dusart Diamond. Um, and I thought it was much more encouraging at Leopardstown last time behind, behind Royal Kahala. I thought she, uh, I just thought she needed a bit more of a stiffer test, really. I don't think she got the, the strong pace that she's after. And I think this is a horse that really relies on a strong pace. And at Cheltenham, they do tend to go quite hard. That would be my worry if I was a backer of Heaven Help Us, that I know she might be hard to catch, but if there's one that's going to catch her, it's probably going to be Tell Me Something Girl, because she just wants a a fast pace and a strong test and she'll be staying on strong up the hill. I mean, the way she, if you haven't seen that race last year, the way she come up that hill, not many horses do you see come up the hill the way she did last year. Um, and I, I don't think this division like is, is that strong. I think, um, I think there's a couple of like horses in here that could upset the apple cart. I suppose like Epiton stepping up and trip would be interesting given the way she does travel through her races um, but I, like I was saying to you, Dave, I'm not entirely convinced that she wants two and a half miles. Um, that would just worry me. I'd, I'd need to see it first. But then by the time you've seen it, she's not going to be eight to one. She's going to be right at the top of the market at three or four to one. So I, I really did struggle this race. Constantine's is not going there. She's going to go over fences. Uh, she wears it well was a horse I was most interested to watch uh, last time. But she, like, that, like Jamie said, she um, jumped that shadow and now she's fractured her nose or whatever. And I, I mean, I don't know how long it takes to recover from that sort of thing. The breathing could be an issue after that. There's just a lot of worry with mm. that sort of injury. Uh, it, it's a it's a wide open race. I could I wouldn't put you off anything. I just I struggle to get that. Tell me something, girl. Novice win out of my head. It, it kind of stuck with me a little bit, you know. And sometimes performances stick with you, and maybe there's a reason why they do. Uh, if she if she goes and wins this, I mean, I don't think she'll be much shorter than six to one on the day, to be honest. I really don't. If she goes and wins this, and she, she drifts in the market, she goes off at eight or nine to one or something. It, you look back and you'll go, my God, how has the Mayor's Novice Hurdle winner gone off at that mm. point, beating the, pretty much the same handful of horses that she had uh, beaten the season before? So I, I really don't know. I can't make heads or tails in a minute, but tell me something, girls, definitely on the radar, not for a bet now, but probably for a bet today. Nice. Well, that kind of wraps it up, I think, but I do need to talk about Epitome because I like Henderson's already made a little comment that. It's not going to be, she's not going to be honeysuckle, so he might try stepping up and trip. I know, I know like, there is obviously question marks until a horse goes and does it, but we know that like winning a champion early, you need to stay that little bit further. Anyway. There's plenty of horses that have done it in the past that we've seen have the ability to win a bandy more before, or maybe even after fences, go and stay a little bit further. So, like, it was a pants champion hurdle, so she's not literal on that, but no risk at all. The sire that's the sire of Alaho, like, literally just one just to shove in there as a thing. Like, we know that he's got stamina in abundance. The dam, I think there was a French winner that won over two and a half. Like, I, I think a Christmas had to win the fact that Glory and Fortune was getting so close just shows that she needs to improve to get anywhere close to be winning over two miles against proper horses. And we've always talked about it if we're looking at it from a handicap perspective. 
if something's going to improve or find a bit more, something's got to change. And the only thing that can change for Epitan for me is to try the new trip. So mm-hmm. I, I'd like to think they're going to do it with her. They did it with Dame de Compagnie last year, didn't they? She ran the novice chase race. He's, then she went, was maybe going to go mayor's chase, but didn't fan out. They brought her for the seven hurdle. I reckon Epitan will go mayor's hurdle myself. And I do think that, I think eight to one you mentioned, Darren, but I think you can still get tens with Hills if you've got, I ran like a granddad or grandma that's still got a better account with them. Every time winning fucking Coral Cup. No, she won't stop going on about mares winning Coral Cups left, right, and centre. I've heard about respect. fucking team the company was fucking gone, right? <laughs> and all of a sudden you're on about fucking day. Ah, oh, we stopped there. Where are we? What, there's another one in that bracket, Coral Cup, this race bracket as well, and that could be Marie's Rock, another Hendo horse. Bolted uh, up, Kevin. Character, oh. shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we've reached the stage you you and you've got King on fucking CZ was there <laughs> let's get sorry let's oh, get, oh sorry for the English boxing day let's get let's, <laughs> let's get the, let's get the selections in for the mayor's hurdle so we can wrap it up I'll go first Epitant would be my selection for the mayor's hurdle as it stands right now 3rd of January 2022 Jamie tell me something girl Dazzler I agree tell me something girl I think uh, yeah I think I'll have a on. All right, so that wraps up the Mayor's Hurdle. Thank God for that. We'll move on to the National Hunt Chase. There'll be a link after this video or go find the video.